goddamn button. Press the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. Alright. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games of Graphics. We are back in the building. With yet another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be showing you how to convert a um, 5M server MLO to a SP MLO. Alright. So break that on down. There are MLOs for your server that you can install and we are going to take one of those 5M MLOs and convert those to single player. All right. So we can use those in single player. So right here on the page that we are at right now, we are on the bowling hall interior. This one is made by Breeze. Shout out to the creator. Now we are going to be using this one, for example, to convert. All right. So this link will be down in the description. When you get to this link, go ahead and check out everything in the description. When you're done doing that, you want to go to where it says download and you want to select Breeze Bowling dot R A R. Okay. When you select that and you download it after that, there is going to be a next requirement that we are going to need, which is DLC pack creator. All right. This one is made by Skylums. Shout out to the creator. When you get down to this link, scroll down, read the full description. After you're done reading the description, come down where it says the current and the current one right now is 1.1 1 .1. and you want to select the green arrow to download. All right. So once you have your bowling hall interior and your DLC pack creator downloaded, and also there is going to be one very important um, requirement you are going to need also, which will be open for, okay? I will have all of the requirements down in the description, all right? So check the links in the description. It will be under links from video, all right? So on the left-hand side, what I have is two downloads that we just downloaded first one I have is Breeze Bowling and then the second one is DLC Pack Creator V1.1 all right and on my right hand side I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up okay so let's go ahead and start with um, our downloads let's go back to our downloads and as you can see when you first download them they will be in compressed files okay so you're going to need um, some type of program that unzips compressed files something like WinWar or 7-zip I myself right now am using 7-zip so you just want to right click choose 7-zip or WinBar and extract to that folder All right. all right once you have your folders extracted from the compressed files let's go ahead and um, start with our DLC pack creator okay so open up the DLC pack creator and then what we want to do is uh, select um, DLC creator uh, application. Let's go ahead and select that one. Once you select DLC pack um, creation, uh, or once you select the DLC creator, this little box will pop up right here, okay? I'm just gonna move that little box right over right here. Now what we want to do is uh, go back to our downloads, press the back button, and then go to the Breeze Bowling. And all we want to do is just select Breeze Bowling, the name, copy the name of Breeze Bowling. Now let's go back over to our create DLC pack um, little window we had open, which is right here. And I'm going to take um, that name that we copied and paste that name right here inside the DLC name. Okay, because we want to name our DLC Breeze Bowling. And for the type, we want to leave it on map. And then once we have uh, these two set, let's go ahead and create DLC. Select the Create DLC button. Then it's going to ask you where would you like to um, put your uh, DLC pack at. So I'm going to select the destination. I'm going to select my Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. And then I'm going to select my mods folder and I'm going to place that inside of my DLC packs. Right. After you chose your destination and you saved it there, you'll get this little window that says successfully created DLC pack at the destination that you saved it to. Okay. Once that is all done, you could exit out of uh, the create DLC pack window. Now, if we come over here to my Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, directory, I have my mods folder as you can see right here. Let's go ahead and open up that. Inside my mods folder, I am going to navigate to my DLC packs. 
and inside my DLC packs you will see our uh, DLC that we had just created which is Breeze Bowling okay I have it highlighted right here all right so from this point I'm gonna leave this right here and I'm gonna go ahead and open up my open four all right there we go I have my open four opened up right here on my right hand side now before I go any further always want to make sure that you have your edit mode turned on in the top right corner of um, open four just go ahead and select it and turn it on once that is on let's go ahead and navigate to our new DLC pack we created which will be inside of our mods folder update 64 DLC packs and breeze bowling okay open up the breeze bowling folder inside there we're going to open up our DLC.RPF then 64 then levels all right then we're going to open up the GTA 5 folder and inside that folder you're going to have two archives okay two archives this is how I like to do it I like to start off with the breeze bowling metadata archive first okay so let's open up the metadata um, archive right here that I have highlighted inside that archive is going to be empty now let's go over to our downloads that we had and let's open up our breeze bowling folder open up the breeze bowling folder inside that folder is going to be another folder that says stream open up that stream folder now from this point all the files that we want to take and place inside of our archive we already opened we just want to take our WMF files YMAP files and YTYP files okay so as you can see I am selecting all of those three files I named throughout the files okay so sometimes when you uh, do these conversions you might have more files than we have right now so you definitely want to follow the steps okay so inside of that metadata archive we only want to place the YMF YMAP YTYP files okay so now that I have those files selected right here I'm going to take those files that I've highlighted drag and drop those into open four inside that metadata archive that we opened all right once I have that drag and drop let's uh, press the back button on open four that'll lead us back to our two archives we had now let's go ahead and open up the first archive which is the breeze bowling dot RPF inside that archive is going to be empty let's go back over to our downloads where we had our stream folder opened up with our files all right now this time we are going to take the remainder of the other files okay so I'm going to go ahead and highlight the files that we need to drag and drop all right so as you can see inside of our first archive we are going to be placing the YDR YBN YTD files and also the YDR well yeah YDR I mentioned that okay so we will be taking the YDR YBN and YTD files and take all these files that I have highlighted and place these inside of our um, breeze bowling .rpf, okay so now that we have um, all of our files in the correct area we can press the back button again on open four to go back and I'm going to explain again which files go in which archive so this file that I this archive I have highlighted the only files that go in this one is the YDR YBN and YTD okay those are only ones that go in the first one now in the second one the only files that go in the metadata archive are YMF YMAP YTYP okay just those files right there all right so now that we have that all set we go ahead and select file close all archives now what we want to do is add our new DLC pack name to our DLC list.xml so let's go ahead and do that right now by selecting update on this side column and then select update.rpf now if this red banner shows for you and it says copy to mods folder select copy to mods folder after it's been copied to mods folder go ahead and go inside the common then go inside the data then scroll down to you find your DLC list.xml right click with the mouse select edit a new window will open up scroll down to the bottom 
select the last item line that you have just like I did select the last item line go ahead and copy that place the cursor behind that line press enter so you can open up a new line and then paste the same line we copied now let's go back over to our breeze bowling folder where we had our stream folder opened up now let's go ahead and press the back button press the back button again now what we want to do is just highlight the breeze bowling name and copy it so we just copied the breeze bowling name let's go back over to our DLC list.xml in that last line that we pasted we just want to paste over the name inside that line okay so whatever your name is inside that line you want to paste the breeze bowling name over that okay so now you should have a new item line at the bottom of your list and it should say breeze bowling inside that item line once you have it correct like mine's go ahead and select the save button once we're all saved we can go ahead close all archives then we can exit out of open 4 minimize any of the windows that we might have open and run the game all right once you spawn inside of the game what you want to do is go to this location right over here the location of the uh, bowling alley is going to be over at the rockford plaza this right here is the rockford plaza and this is right where you want to go it's over actually up the street from the pond pond zebes uh, I don't even know. I never knew how to say that name right. Ponzibis. But this is the location where you want to go. All right. I'll leave it right there on the map so everybody can see clearly where you want to go right there. All right. After you teleport over there, it's going to be right next door to Cluck and Bell. It's going to be in between Cluck and Bell and Cafe uh, Alster. I think that is. All right. So as you can see, right where I'm walking towards right here is the bowling alley okay so this is the bowling alley that we converted from 5m to single player all right and that's how you do it folks that's how you convert um, a 5m mlo to single player all right now there's a couple of things i want to go over with just one main thing sometimes when you convert these um, mlos from 5m to sp you will run into some issues where um, you will see that the place has loaded, but you might not be able to walk through the doors. Like it'll be invisible wall right there for some MLOs that you convert. If you run into uh, that problem, you will have to um, edit those with, uh, you have to edit those, I guess, with either 3D Max, I believe, um, or Cold Walker. I'm not sure, but you will have to have that experience to do it, okay? So if you uh, convert a different 5M MLO to single player and you run into a problem where your character can't go through the doors like this invisible wall, then that MLO needs to be edited, okay? So if you don't have any experience in editing, then I suggest to convert a different MLO, all right? So folks, that's going to wrap it up for me on how to convert a 5M MLO to a single player MLO. I hope everybody got it. If you enjoyed the video or if this video helped y'all out, go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with y'all friends that are in a modding GTA 5, y'all. This is Games and Graphics. Me and Big Baller Dance Frank, we are going to enjoy our new bowling alley. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.